Oh, oh. Like I'm blocking them. They're good. No, on. you're good. You're good. Oh, new selfie face. Okay, oh, yeah. here we go. New selfie right. face. We're gonna create a new selfie face <laughs> on the spot. It's who let the dogs out, but make it chic. You want, you want me to do this? The Baja Men? Well, I'm ready right now. I got Baja it. Baja Men reference? What was the who let the dogs out selfie to begin with? That was a selfie? Yeah, I don't know. But make it chic. Oh, chic. Oh. Where are the dogs? Who let them out? I, like, I don't know what to do with my. Like, I just to, I try to show good. some concern for dogs. Yeah, you like the dogs. What are you? You're like winking. Oh, because you let the dogs out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and I don't know what chic means. Yeah. <laughs> and you're you're just smoldering. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna play this game where it's uh, a quote from a, a butler in in the world of entertainment. Okay. Uh, for example, which butler said? Well, this is not an example. This is just the first one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's just cool. play. Let's it. Just yeah. Practice yeah. round. I feel which, like I get the gist. So. Which butler said, I have known freedom, don't like the health plan? Was that Jeffrey Butler from uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Mr. Carson from Downton Abbey, or Riff Raff from Rocky Horror Picture Show? I have known freedom, don't like the health plan. Uh, it, I think I got a good idea. Is that a Fresh Prince joke? I don't, I don't think it doesn't. doesn't but it seems serious. But, well, it could be like a joke, like you know, he's he's been he's he was very sarcastic. Yeah, the, the, the butler on on Fresh Prince was very uh, sardonic and you know, yeah, he's very witty. I think that's I think that's a Joffrey Butler thing. Oh, do we have to write it down on our our love letter things? Unless you just want to argue it out. What's it? I think we're all pretty on the same page. Bro. Okay, not know. me. Oh, really? <laughs> you? Nope, not me. Yep. Uh, see, I, I we lured you. Oh wow, we all I lured you in the A. I went with B. Yep. I don't know if they have health plans in the time of uh, Downton Abbey, but it sounds like yeah, that's what it, that was my Downton Abbey. And I don't think health plans are something they. they Sorry, on. I marked the table and I can't listen to you guys until <laughs> I've cleaned it. <laughs> the answer is A. Yeah, Joffrey uh, Butler. See? Dang man, it I gave you like the a, answer. I'm a but. <laughs> <laughs> and your, right. your arrogance, your arrogance, uh, led you away right. from the answer. Take, take the next one, Ross. Which butler said you rang? Oh, 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 oh. easy. A Wadsworth easy, Clue, easy, Cadbury easy. Richie Rich. Oh yes, I know this one. This is a classic. I classic. One. Yeah, I remember. I remember this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I think it's C. I think it's Lurch. You remember? Oh. Who are you remembering? I, there's the you butler wrong. in Richie Rich. Oh, he said you rang too. I thought Lurch said you rang. That seems maybe like an Adam's like family thing Maybe he said it because he, maybe it was a reference. Oh. oh we're going to have to look I'm that wrong. up because we have Lurch on our end. Yeah, Lurch is right. But you're saying it so confidently that I kind of believe you as well. Oh, All right, right, we'll give Ross a point. Just what? No. <laughs> you're black, come on. <laughs> I mean, I actually believed it at that point. No, no. Okay. You rang. All right, Rhett, you want to read this one? Yeah. Oh, don't give me a point for that. Well, I don't know. Maybe you did say it. Which butler said, ah, there be a war, all right. It's time to prepare for it. Was it A, Alfred Pennyworth in Batman, B, Edwin Jarvis in uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or C, Thomas Barrow in Downton Abbey? Ah, there be a war, all right. It's time to prepare for it. I think I, I, think I know it. I think I can hear it in my head, the man saying it. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the phrasing of this. That's where I'm getting this. I think I, I think I, man, you get that. I mean, there's a, you know you could. I mean, Batman went to war so different to every single time. I just. I, did you guys watch down? Did you? Watch I, I watched Downton Abbey. Abbey. Did yeah. you watch it recently? Uh, not I didn't. Recently. I, I watched, like all your answers. I know there's a war. Yeah. There's yeah. a war. So yeah, I'm saying Downton Abbey too. Me too. I it's can just... Thomas Barrow from Downton Abbey. Yes! All right, Ross. I just thought it was Probably Michael Caine saying it like, I can't do his his accent. It'll be a wool all right type of bit. And well, I guess I could also I be don't know Downton if Alf Abbey. Alfred was always very, um, he didn't give unsolicited advice, did he? Very much. I think only he in times of like need. Yeah, of, of yeah. When like yeah. he knew Bruce Wayne really needed a right. pep talk. Which butler said, there's not a man or woman, no matter how fit he or she may be, who is capable of carrying the entire world on their shoulders. Wow, oh, this is deep. Is this Edwin Jarvis from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Cecil Gaines, or Cecil Gaines, 
from Lee Daniels, the butler, or Emilio Lopez from Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Is that an Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> yeah. There were no lines that long in Mr. Deeds. <laughs> like no one had any any dialogue that was lo that long. <laughs> so oh my God. It was definitely not Mr. Deeds. <laughs> or I feel like that's such an obscure reference. It might be that it might be that. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Jarvis said it. I feel like that's a jar. That could be because it's very philosophical. It's very. I like drawing letters. Uh, that's what I'm figuring out. I, I'm I, I'm guessing B, the butler. I should be. I, I mean, it's just a guess. So. I'm just gonna go for it. I went with B as well. Yeah, on the same page. It's C, I'm but you're going with Mr. Deeds. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you can always bet on Mr. Deeds. Don't be Deeds. afraid. It's A. Oh, Jarvis. Really? So, which movie was that? That's a Iron good Man? question. One of the Iron Men has to be. Agent Carter. There's not. I said it with a question mark. Agent Carter. <laughs> Carter. Okay. Wait, so. Jarvis. Was so, it was that the Iron Man robot? Not uh, robot AI. Jarvis was the AI, but yeah. wasn't he? Was he an actual butler before that? Before that, right? He named it after his butler. Um, I'm consulting David, he who is his the consciousness expert into a butler, of anything Marvel into an AI and butler. Hold on, David. Can you please give the history of this character? When did, when did Iron uh, Man? Jarvis was the butler of Tony Stark's dad, and Agent Carter. <laughs> oh. In Agent Carter, you mean the television series? Uh, correct, the limited series. The limited, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it didn't, it was limited. I couldn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was so limited. so limited. <laughs> so limited. Huh? Okay, we're all tied. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions about the Marvel universe? Because now would be a good time. <laughs> I don't like asking questions because then it makes me seem like I don't know. <laughs> and the, the people who do know get upset when you don't know. Yeah, so far you're playing it really cool. <laughs> <laughs> How about David just tells us everything he knows about the MCU? We just go. Give us a summary of Agent Carter. Should we watch Agent Carter? I just, I just. What is? I, got, I don't have that much time. Steven, on what's my your hand. opinion what's on that? that limited TV series? Okay. Uh, you can skip it. <laughs> oh, wow. Skippable. What, what, Too much what, what, Butler was that, time. Was that Netflix Agent Carter? No, it was ABC. ABC, oh, okay, cool. Uh, which butler said, that fate which condemns me to wallow in blood has also denied me the joys of the flesh. Uh, this is definitely on the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> or <Yeah>. Mr. Deeds. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Gerard Butler as King Leonidas, 300. Okay. Gerard Butler as the Phantom of the Phantom of the Opera, mm. or Gerard Butler as Milo Boyd, the Bounty Hunter. I'm not sure what that last one is. I have not seen Gerard Butler in any of these movies because I have not seen these movies. I've seen 300. You haven't seen that? He hasn't no. Seen, he hasn't it, seen it. Because 300, it looked like they put they animated live action. It seemed weird to me. Like I was like, why does that look weird? I am just not, I ain't gonna watch that. Have you not <laughs> seen, seen Space Jam either? No. Yeah, yeah. That's when they put the cartoons into the actual yeah. life. Yeah, but action. that's different. I mean, is that what is there like a Bugs Bunny and Three Hundred? No. <laughs> right. Well, maybe not uh, yet. Not yet. <laughs> uh, is it, David? That which should I watch Three Hundred? Oh there's yeah. A, oh yeah. There's also the sequel. Three Hundred One. Three Hundred One. I don't know, man. What are you, what are you going to put? I'm going to copy you. Uh, that seem, this seems like a 300 sort of thing. Like That's what I want to Yeah. To wallow in blood has a 9 There's a lots of, of blood. There's lots of blood. I mean, right, it's all right. it's all CGI blood, of course. Well, we all can't do the same thing. It's kind of animated blood, right? You know, I'm going to go with... I think they just put like a filter over it. I'm gonna, yeah. And well, they, and they like highlight a lot of red in it. And All the blood. Yeah, all the blood. Yeah. That's... Condemned, denied him the joys of the flesh. What was that other movie where they did that uh, scanner darkly? Oh yeah, that was a trip. No, movie. that was that, different. That's different. Man. What was the uh, like, like the cell shading? The the, uh, the Bruce Willis is sort of like a Sin City. Yeah, oh. R uh, Rodriguez. Oh, right? yeah, he did the same thing. Yeah. Now you say I. Okay. I'm just going with one. Well, you. Don't, <laughs> I'm just doing it because if we all go with the same answer, it, it doesn't. It's just right. That's why yeah. I told Fine, you I was you know going with A, so you'd pick the wrong answer. All right. I'll go with B. Are these locked in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. going with the Phantom of the Opera. I think it's A, but I'm just trying to shake things up. It's B. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> how? Well, you know, because in the movie he said that. That's how. The 
fate which condemns me to wallow in blood has the no oh, that seems really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, all right guys okay, this is the yeah, last bro. one y'all gotta play catch up here we go <laughs> which butler said i have no wish to fill my few remaining years grieving for the loss of old friends or their sons is this michael Gugh? as Alfred in the 1989 Batman, Jeremy Irons as Alfred in the Batman vs. Superman, or Michael Caine as Alfred in The Dark Knight. I have no wish to fill my few remaining years grieving for the loss of old friends or their sons. So That's not what son of a friend of Batman died that is in one of those movies? Mm. Say that question one more time. <laughs> what what son, son who was a friend of Bat, or at least a friend of Alfred, died in a Batman because he was like, I'm not going to mourn the loss of I think my this old friend is, or his. I think it's sons. just a, all Alfred saying this to Batman. This is not defeated. This is tough talk. Like, yeah. In which Batman movie did did Alfred give the most tough talk? And the, I'm giving you guys hints because I know one the answer. I think I know the answer to this one. Yeah. Okay. The one where now, I'm gonna put my hands the in, Iceman. Because I'm in the lead. Batman I'm not forever. gonna I'm not gonna copy you guys. George Clooney. I believe it was directed at Chris O'Donnell as Robin. Yeah. Yeah. That With, this particular it's, line. it's the one where the Batman <laughs> suit had the nipples. Yeah. <laughs> and Alicia Silverstone? Yeah. And Uma Thurman. <laughs> Okay. Well, wow, let's name the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, commit. Danny DeVito was no, that was different. That was. Uh, oh yeah, where was the penguin? Okay. All right. Jim oh, Carrey. Where was, yeah, I was gonna say was the Riddler. Jim Carrey. That was Batman, not Batman Forever. That was just. Uh, that was Batman versus the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. I went with B. I went with B. I'm going with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with yeah. C. I'm pretty sure this is it. So, the Ross, answer? you can't win unless you change your answer. You can't tie me. Well, you. <laughs> I didn't say change my answer. Is A. Oh. Oh. Okay. It didn't what? matter. What? You, you, <laughs> we all, all right, lost. So, I won. Won. Lead. <laughs> so in the 1989 Batman. Huh. I, I feel like I can see Michael Caine saying that. I feel like you can see Michael Caine saying anything that Alfred would say. And I always listen to him. Yeah. Yeah. Always I listen to your butler. Mm. Of course, yeah. I, I don't have a butler. Now you can be charmingly mythical. Get your mythical necklaces at mythical.com.